If you don't love your work, you're never going to be great at it. If you can get your work life to be where you enjoy half of it, that is amazing because very few people ever achieve that. Because the truth is, everything comes with overhead. That's reality. Everything comes with pieces that you don't like. Every job comes with pieces you don't like. And we need to say, that's just how, that's part of it. You have to figure out how to set up your life in such a way that you can minimize the things. And I find people don't dislike hard work. What people dislike is being um, out of control. Like they can't control their life. They can't control their environment. This happens to me when I get overscheduled. I hate being overscheduled. I want some time to be able to think and free myself. We all have the same amount of time in the world. Nobody has more time than anybody else. And when you become a very successful person, one of the things you start to get overscheduled. If you don't love your work, you're never going to be great at it. The other thing I would suggest to uh, any young person, uh, even before they start their career, is to really think about their choices. Because I find young people, and I, I, when I was young, I, had, I made this mistake too, you can get very fixed on your gifts. So everybody has gifts. You know, you, you have gifts and you have things that you didn't get gifted. Maybe you're extremely beautiful. Maybe you're extremely good at mathematics. Maybe you, there are a lot of things that you can be given. But those things can confuse you because they're not the things that construct your life. It's your choices that construct your life, not your gifts. You can celebrate your gifts. Be proud of them. Be happy of them. Actually, don't be proud of them. Be be celebratory of them, but you can't be proud because they're gifts. They were given to you. You didn't earn them. You can only be proud of the things you earn. And so as I got older, I started to realize I wasn't proud of my gifts. I was always good at school. School was always easy for me. And I was always proud that I was a great student. I got A's in all my classes. I was good at math, all of that. And I thought, I thought that's who I was, but it's not true. Those are the things that are gifts. What was hard for me is deciding to work hard, deciding to use my gifts in certain ways, to challenge myself to uh, do things that I didn't think I could do, to put myself in uncomfortable situations. You can choose a life of ease and comfort, or you can choose a life of service and adventure. Which one of those, when you're 90 years old, are you going to be more proud of? Tomorrow, in a very real sense, your life, the life you author from scratch on your own, begins. How will you use your gifts? What choices will you make? Will inertia be your guide? Or will you follow your passions? Will you follow dogma? Or will you be original? Will you choose a life of ease or a life of service and adventure? Will you wilt under criticism or will you follow your convictions? Will you bluff it out when you're wrong or will you apologize? Will you guard your heart against rejection or will you act when you fall in love? Will you play it safe? Or will you be a little bit swashbuckling? When it's tough, will you give up? Or will you be relentless? Will you be a cynic? Or will you be a builder? Will you be clever at the expense of others? Or will you be kind? Tomorrow, and in a quiet moment of reflection, narrating for only yourself the most personal version of your life story, the telling that will be most compact and meaningful will be the series of choices you have made. In the end, we are our choices. Build yourself a great story.